Pete has trouble getting around after spending 23 years in the military. And you can see outside there isn't much of a ramp and inside very narrow walls make it hard for him to get around. But now he's receiving some help from a local veterans group. Well, I received a letter on my birthday, on my 21st birthday, I think it was, that said, uh, welcome to the draft. In 1973, Pete, whose last name is being left out due to privacy reasons, was getting ready to graduate college. He agreed to sign up for the Army for two years. Well, that two years turned into a 23-year lifetime adventure. His time in the service has been hard on his body. He suffers from things like heart and kidney problems, but he also hurt his back and hips in a training accident that confines him to a cane, walker, or most comfortably, a wheelchair. With a wheelchair, it's uh, it's impossible to get through this area. Pete's home is getting a new wheelchair-friendly design thanks to the help of the Wounded Veterans Foundation. What we are doing is ramps for the, the front of the home uh, and the back. We are doing all new floors throughout the home because we're opening up all the doorways. So he's going to receive bigger doorways to get his wheelchair through. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Work begins early next month. In all, about $20,000 worth of improvements will be done all through donations. The group even spent the day at the Construction World Expo meeting with contractors. In our wildest dreams, we could have never thought of this. The Wounded Veterans Foundation was founded in Indiana but has expanded to 28 states. To visit their website, visit this story on Wayne.com. Reporting in Fort Wayne, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.